I am here on behalf of the youth to conduct service. And as frightened as I was yesterday, when I saw the sun went down, and that I knew it was about to start, God, he, he, he never and then love continued to hug me and caress me and keep me safe. This is why I'm still standing here. This is why I'm able to pour out my heart. I love the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. For thou preparest a table before me, in and out of the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of Now you can try whatever you want to try to stop me. But surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of my God. If you don't want to claim him, I claim he's my God. I will take your word from you. I will take your word from you if you are. <laughs> we praise the Lord. So we have one of our daily, one of our loved members, a new member as well, to come up and read for us. That psalm, that first psalm for this morning. We now invite. Brother John to come up before us and bear the first song. Please put your hands together for God. I know the Lord. Shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, 
What can the righteous do? The Lord is the whole, is his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in the heaven. His eyes behold, his eyes is tried, the children of men. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that love it violence. His soul hated. Unto the wicked he shall rain snares, fires and brimstone, and the horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance do it behold the upright. Yeah, the portion contains seven verses. more.
Jesus, remember me. Continue to worship God this morning. The brother that has the instrument to play can prepare yourself in the meantime because you're on the floor next. We must continue as believers, as so called spiritual people, to be each other's keeper. Call a sister, call a brother, find out how they do it. Leave a message. If you know Brother Kylie, doesn't respond one time to any message, you can respond 10 hours after. But leave a message because you're concerned and because you have that love. Amen. Even though you might not get the response that you want. It might not be on your time Amen. and it might not be in your line. But Amen. leave it because you sincere to who you are in God. Amen. When it is I was preparing for today's service, I heard seed, root, and fruit. I wanted to leave that with Bishop. I don't know where Bishop is, but Bishop, wherever you are. Seed, root, and fruit. Now, I ain't a grandmaster like my bishop yet. But I know that he'll be able to elaborate on that seed, root, and fruit for us in favor, with flavor, through God. And it is very simple to understand because you have a seed. Consider yourself a seed. This is you'd be talking about. We all start off as a seed. And I thought to myself, well, you know, the normal stages of a plant that I see, teacher, is when you plant a seed, you see a tree grow. Not knowing that after seed comes root. Yes. Because you have to have something to hold on to. I think I need to go around about that. You have to have something to hold on to. We're talking about God here. Yeah. We're talking about mankind. We don't want nobody to water we see. We don't want nobody to groom and, 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 and nurture we saw it. We're talking about you planting yourself, bearing your roots, Sister Tessa, and holding on to God's word so that you can produce fruit. Seed. Root. And fruit. Throughout this service, I'll be checking up the seed. Who paying attention? I find that people fall and I sleep on there. Seed, root, and fruit. Just say like you're afraid to say, now nah, my miss people are gone. 
He made us a little lower than the angels. I like this side more than this side. That's all right. <laughs> And the spirit, like, I don't know if it's on this side with water more or what, but something on this side. That's all right. We have, here, yeah, young lady, we have seed, we have root, and for God, God is in the midst. Put your hand together for this brother. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, A rendition, a musical. I hear all kind of things. I hear in rendition, I hear in a musical, I hear in high school. I think about the shows I used to watch, I think about all kind of things. But we bless God for this brother this morning. You we'll see, because God has placed and bestowed blessing and favor in his life. I am also one of them. I don't know about all of you. I was blessed with gifts also. So, brother, I am very happy to see that God is living. That he really is true. You know, sometimes you need you need the proof. You need physical proof to know that God, because for some believers who are stubborn, they really have to see God really work in order for them to believe. Sister Tessa, they have to wait until they, they fall and hit rock bottom and get that upliftment to know that God is true. Despite all of that, I would just like us to bless God. And as Bishop was saying last week, you know, sometimes you're going through your trials and your tribulations. But it is up to you to focus on that and really feed and stimulate that energy or remember the good that God has done in your life. Somebody asked me once, how could you worship a God that you cannot see? This is, it's tough people out here asking me these questions, eh? You're dedicated to this thing. The other day, you was yellow, now you're green. How that happening? And you can't see that man, you don't know where he come from. You're just believing in this thing that this man over the road by this land telling you. And I was able to answer and say that the changes you are seeing is my God working. Amen. That is how I know that God is real. And that is how I can see God. I do not have to see his face. There is a voice. There is the holy anointing that blesses us. Have a cookie to decide, Mama. Go ahead. That blesses us, that blesses me to know that God is real. When I am crying and I am alone, and no carnal hand can comfort me, there is the arms of God that embraces me. Yeah. There is a voice of God that directs my slippery footsteps when they slide. 
When I'm about to fall, there is nobody else I can see and know but God. This is the person that I cry and I lead my head onto. Our God and our Savior. So at this moment, we would like to allow Sister Destiny to come up and just give, on behalf of the youth ministry, some words of encouragement. Might be two words, might be one word, faith, grow, strength, pray. To give us just a few words of encouragement before we allow the speaker for this morning. Please put your hands together for Sister Destiny. Good morning to the Archbishop and to Teacher Tracy and all the mothers in the house. Good morning to um, our visitors. Good morning. Good morning and good morning to everyone that's present here. Good morning. I would like to say on behalf of the youths, well, speaking to you, um, continue to be habitually engaged in church and continue to have faith, pray a lot because it does work and just don't give up, trust the faith and the process. Thank you. Put your hands together for Sister Destiny. She's a young, something about her, the, the vibration that God has bestowed upon her always leads me to wanting to hear from Sister Destiny. That is my sister in God, and I respect that. Children, when the hurricane blows, uh, stop, 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 stop. We don't want to, we, we don't want to go to a reunion at all. Children, when the hurricane blows, hello, hold me in your eyes. When the hurricane blows, continue to bless us, O oh Lord. Continue to bless us, O oh Lord. Even when the hurricane blows. Sorry. Put your hands together for each other. She is truly a woman of God. She really motivates and I'd like to say this open because that's a lie privately already. She encourages the youth. Yes, the child talking a little bit more. She said, well, I can't talk it too much. And I'm talking a little bit more because Bishop Marlon is my father. <laughs> that God really said good. Yeah, now, before I find this church, I asked him to go because I wasn't fellowshipping anyway. I said, Father, send somewhere for me to be. Send me somewhere. Amen. Carry my foot somewhere. Amen. And I walk into this back street right here today, with a little jog in the evening, and I see a blue and white tent, and they having um, fruit day. So I run by Mother Eva. I said, Mother Eva, on this Sabbath, this will come day. Let me go now, I think. She said, All right, we'll go, son. And we came, and from the first day that I came here, this is what I have become. So there must be something in this place. There must be a God, whichever God you want to call him. My friends say, whatever that bishop do for you, I'm going to do it for me. 
That's what my friend tell me. You see my mom, she, she bold face and she tell me, <laughs> she tell me Bishop, that's what she said, Bishop, I want whatever you do for Kaya to do it for me. To so my friend, on a very serious note, it had instructions that I had to follow on my own. Now, Bishop could have liked a million lights. It was up to me to make the choice. Yeah, yeah. Because when I was home on my bed and God was delivering his words into my spirit, it was me to accept. Yeah. I thank God to the Bishop, however, for leading me close to God. Put your hands together for the Bishop. Because he's a man of God that truly moves wonders in our lives. Without further ado, brothers and sisters, I would like to introduce our speaker for this morning, a young man of God. A brother that thinks because he is stronger than me, he can throw me down. <laughs> <laughs> Our dearly beloved brother, Emmanuel, put your hands together for him. As he makes his way to deliver a word of God. We praise God, amen? amen. We praise God, amen? amen. Praise the Lord. And please stand and let us read the foundation as we should come from Genesis chapter 22. And I will call Sister Curly. I'll call Sister Curly to read the foundation as well. What a name of this, yes, I'm my name. Bless the Lord. Oh. the name of the place Jehovah Jireh as it is itself to this day in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen 
And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of the heaven a second time and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and thou hast withheld thy son, thy only son, that is that in blessing I will bless thee and multiply. I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the sea of the shore. And the seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nation of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So I rest at the 18th verse. Glory be to the Father. And to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the No, just saying. Thank God we are alive and here today. But we could come and fellowship and glorify in God's name. Where we could come in the house of the Lord where we could offer up whatever talent that God has blessed each and every one of us. And first of all, I want to thank Brother Kyle. Because if I was fearful today, and a doubting spirit, Brother Kyle lifted up my spirit. So I want to, I want to, you know, to, I want to give, I want to tell, to thank God for Kyle, because, you know, he gave me that inspiration, and he gave me that, 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 that encouragement, where I could come out and I could, you know, to speak, to speak that God had laid in my heart. Right? So we're speaking about Abraham here. God tempted Abraham. Right? To me, God, God put Abraham to a test. He tell Abraham to take your only son, your only son, and give him up for a sacrifice. You know, and that, to me, <laughs> listen to me, you have to be walking in faith. You have to really know God. You have to be connected with God. You have to know him for him to come and tell you, well, take your only child and go and sacrifice him. Right? So Abraham gets up in the morning, he prepares his, his donkey, he prepares his two men, and they take Abraham and they went upon the journey. And while on the journey, you know, they're going along, I, I believe that we was no tarrying, probably days. The third day now, he, he raised up, but he still sees the, the, the place far. So he tell them, he tell the two men, you wait right all the way there. Let me carry my son and let everyone worship. So he and I are going to worship. They're not going to worship, they're going to offer up the prayers to God, whatever, whoever worship, they're going to worship God. And while, I, I believe while, while they finish worship now, he started to gather the, the word and whatever it is for the sacrifice. So, you know, Isaac, his son, you know, he, he gave him the little wood and thing to carry, you know, because, you know, they're going to prepare um, for the sacrifice, which poor Isaac probably even know about. And... Um, while, you know, they, they, they're, going, they're going on the way, they're going on a journey, he now, he now finally stopped. He finally now, no, before he, um, thing, Abraham told him, you know, he was like, it's a curious. He was like, but dad, wait now. We going on, do a sacrifice. I, I had the wood. We had the fire. But where's the lamb? So Abraham was so calm and so, you know, my son, what, what you are in, go and prepare a lamb for the sacrifice. Yes. So, you know, Isaac was like, okay, but I'm a father, so whatever you say, we go in rolling, daddy and son, yeah, rolling, all right, no problem. So, on the way now, and then Abraham now, he finally reached to his destination, where the Lord had sent him to, um, to offer him up for the sacrifice. He started to put on the, build up the altar, put on the wood and stuff. And then now, he hold Isaac, lay them on the wood, lay them on the wood, what, <laughs> lay them on the wood, and about to slay his son, he stretch his hand, and about to slay his son, and the angel of the Lord came and said, Abraham, Abraham, what are you going to do the boy? Do not touch him. Okay, now, we understand now that you are a God-fearing man. Yeah. We understand now that you are a mighty man of God. We understand now that you believe in God. So, you know, so, so, so Abraham now say, well, you know what? I now see, and, and now look up there and I see the ram. So, you know, I will take the ram now for a, for a sacrifice and I will let Isaac go. So, poor Isaac, when he was pleading, whew, whew. My father was not going to sacrifice me, but thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He ain't sacrificed me. So all that, and I said, all that in my knowledge, I said, you know, that Abraham was very obedient to God. Yeah. 
very, very, very obedient to God's voice. And we as believers, how can we pertain our life to Abraham in being believers got to be obedient to God's voice? Now, Abraham could have gone and tell someone his plan. Because sometimes when God gave us a will or give us a, 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 something to do, we could to go and tell to him they can hurry and then we lost you bless him. Because you know why? Yeah, yeah. The person might try to stop you yeah. from going to do the thing that God wants you to do. Yeah. So there you go and you go and lose all the blessing. When God gave that direction, it's just to go straight, follow God's will, yeah. trust in God, walk in God's direction, obey his voice, go straight. Because people will hinder you on the way when you go to tell them. Because he could have told the two men and they might have said, Isaac, you know, your father going and sacrifice you. Do if he tell it, don't go with him. Or you even could have tell him why was should I say, my son, my only son, you crazy? You could never go. So you know he kept God's word and he followed it and he obeyed it and he went and he carried out God's word. So that so I for me that Abraham passed his test with flying colors. He passed his test in flying colors. And then now, so when now he called up, so when Abraham called the name of the Lord Jehovah Jireh, the, the, the mount of the, um, where the Lord had shall been, now the angel come again, and he talked to Abraham, and he tell Abraham, so Abraham, you didn't, okay, it's, it, it come like this, you wasn't selfish with your son. Watch how easy you go to, watch how easy you go to, to give up your son, you wasn't selfish. You didn't keep your only son from me. So to my knowledge, I say about me, first Abraham so understand God. And first, he's so believe in God. I think Abraham do believe that Isaac really belongs to him because at the end of the day, yes, there's a son in the physical, but Isaac belongs to God. We all belong to God. You understand? So, in my knowledge, I was like, you know, Abraham had that faith. He had that, he had that encounter, that love with God, and one and one. That you know, when when you, uh, as they say, when a sheep hear my voice, you know, you know, he hear God's like just like one, like he just understand because if you could sacrifice your own child you have to be walking with God you have to be walking with God so I'm saying now okay so I'm so I'm saying now so okay you're going to work in hard be as believers you're going to work in hard you buy a new car right you're spending money on a car you're suiting up this car but what are the sacrifice are you making so if God come down and tell you now because you know we as believers we like to make excuse we like to say but why how come not me but i work so hard but you know they will love to make excuse but in god work, there's no excuse so if god come down and he tell you well this guy you know by spend a million or how much money for him, give it to the sister would you would you would you give it to that sister so this is the kind of faith we and believers have to have like Abraham. So when God taught us, we can be able to follow and obey his voice. Because that is what he wants for our believers. So, and it's not that too, you know. When we obey God will and obey his voice, we can be reward. We can be reward. You hear the kind of blessings Abraham gets here? Listen to me. You can check the stars and multiply that. And the seashore, the sun, and the, you can multiply that. Never. That is to tell you how God bless. So when we see we give out, we give to God. When we see we 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 follow His word, walk in His footsteps, believe His word, not in our own understanding, but continue to trust in God. Let go whatever it is and just walk in spirit and truth. Obey Him. We will be rewarded. We will be rewarded. So today I want to encourage the youth, not even with myself, everybody, to continue to be obedient. The key is obedient to God's voice. And when you be obedient to God's voice, to, to God's voice, sorry, we will be able to reward our blessings. He will multiply us. He will, he will give you what you even, it might even be too much for you to even handle. Because you are following and obeying the voice of God. And God is such a good God and then He loves us. So then why not? Why not live in love? Why not live in peace? Why not? Be our brother's keeper. Because we, as we as in, we see it here that we ain't belong to nobody but God. So then why you have, when you have something, you can't share with your brother. You can't share with your sister. We, we pray in our father. You know what I mean? Our father. Our. Our. Our father meaning that we are all brothers and sisters. So okay. So why it is, if you have something to give to a brother or sister, you will give them the whole thing 
and you keep the new thing. And that is a brother and sister. You are praying our father. So we praying our father is because we are praying because our, it's our father. We are brothers and sisters in one body in Christ. So I want to encourage everybody to be obedient to God. Be obedient and see how, be obedient and see how, how he will reward you. How he will bless you. How he will multiply your blessings upon blessings. And don't be in billion with carnal mind. Don't be in billion with carnal mind. Them say, he say, who ain't want to say, me ain't like that, me ain't come. No. Spirit and in truth. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let the Holy Spirit lead you where that you, that he wants you to go. Many a time you look upon man. Talk to God first. Let he, he will. Send some, if it is he is to send somebody to direct you, he will. He will. He will send somebody to direct you. So I just want to st- encourage everybody, and I just want to say that, you know, that we serve our awesome God. And just like our Abraham had his faith, and he, and he obeyed God's will, and he, and he walked in obedience, that we as believers are to walk in that same obedience. So this is what I have encountered on Genesis 22 from 18, and this is the prayer of my heart. Praise the Lord. 